Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. First off, we are not gonna get three paintings done this month. But y'all was thinking about myself, I was like, you know what I'm saying, Black History Month, it, it ain't just gotta be about a month. to celebrate blackness all throughout the year, so I think I will sprinkle a few more history lessons in there at some point throughout the year. But this one, this one right here, ah oh shit, yo, this, 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 this is my joint right here. Going back to just sitting on the couch as a kid, like as a little, little kid and watching, you know, sitcom television and seeing somebody that I related to even back then on the screen being represented, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Shout out to the little nerds, shout out to the little nerds, shout out to the funny little nerds. And, you know, today we are looking back at the first little funny nerd that I saw on television, and that would be my homeboy, Steve Urkel. You know what I'm saying? My boy, hey, what did you yeah, I do that. You know, like that whole joint shit. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, so one of the first things I need to do is go ahead and get like a base coat down so I'm not looking at the stark white. I got a lot of plans for this thing, and honestly, I don't know if they're all going to come through because <laughs> there's some ambitious plans. And But if, if I can make this work, it's going to open up a whole lot of opportunities for new paintings in the future so i am very excited about that. and honestly what's art without taking like risk like how are you ever going to get to a point where you're doing you know some like completely wild shit unless you you know what i'm saying try and fail a lot <laughs> and a lot and a lot and a lot or like you know fail and refine what you want to make work about something so that's why I'm always doing something new with all of these paintings and whatnot, because I want to, you know, keep trying and, and, and to try to find my thing. You know what I mean? I want to be able to find my thing. I'm always looking for that, you know, my like my style and my signature. And that's a Chuck Lee painting. So, yeah, that's what we're doing here. <laughs> All right, so the idea is for me to use this transfer paper on this gold right here. Can you see that on the camera? Uh, yeah, you can see it better on the camera than I can see it in person. We're going in our Cricut space here, and then we're gonna choose a complex design. We'll say next. Then we are gonna use our selection tool to get rid of all the white. We're gonna apply that and continue. Uh, that cut looks a little bit jank. I, I kind of think it'll look tight though. I don't wanna refine that. I kind of like that my stuff doesn't look so damn AI. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our mat. So we got our mat here. So it's gonna be, the pattern's gonna start at about the one down like right here. So I'll keep that in mind when I'm placing it because my mat is so jank. Little clear tape to make sure it stays in. Nice and flush. All right. So I've never done this before, but I'm going to try to heat press this glitter vinyl onto a canvas that already has both oil and it has acrylic paint on it. <laughs> Yo, if this works, this might open up a whole smorgasbord full of ideas for the future. So let's see. You can do it for 20 seconds. All right, let's go back over to the table and see how it came out. All right, so hear me out. I low key kind of like the way it looks with the the overlay part. Of it. I think that looks kind of cool, but there is this one part up here that kind of pisses me off that's not connected. Let's take it off, but we'll keep this in mind. Generally, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is pretty cool. Sure. 
Steve Urkel, portrayed by Jalil White, became an iconic character in the landscape of American television through the hit sitcom Family Matters. Premiering in 1989, the show stood out not only for its humor and heartwarming family dynamics, but also for its groundbreaking portrayal of an African American family in the positive light. At its core, Family Matters presented the Winslow family as relatable, multifaceted individuals navigating the ups and downs of everyday life. Led by the patriarch Carl Winslow, played by Reginald Vell Johnson, the family offered viewers a glimpse into the joys and challenges of raising a family in a middle-class African-American household. What set Family Matters apart was its introduction of Steve Urkel, a character who defied stereotypes and shattered expectations. Urkel, with his oversized glasses, suspenders, and distinctive snort, quickly became a fan favorite for its comedic antics and enduring quirks. However, beneath the comedic exterior lay a brilliant mind, a genius inventor and scholar whose intellect far surpassed his peers. As Loki, why I just freaking loved him so much. He was, he, you know, he's funny, but he was also just so smart. <laughs> In a television landscape where African American characters were often relegated to narrow, stereotypical roles, Urkel stood out as a refreshing departure. His portrayal as a genius challenged prevailing stereotypes and showcased the diversity of talent within the African American. American community. Through Urkel, Family Matters demonstrated that intelligence knows no racial or cultural boundaries, empowering viewers, especially young African Americans, to embrace their own intellect and potential. Moreover, Family Matters depicted the Winslow family as a loving, supportive unit, emphasizing the importance of familial bonds and mutual respect. Whether dealing with everyday challenges or confronting more significant obstacles, the Winslows faced them together with resilience, humor, and unwavering love. As one of the longest running African-American sitcoms in television history, Family Matters left a mark on audiences, challenging stereotypes and celebrating the richness of diversity of African-American culture. Through characters like Steve Urkel, the show inspired viewers to embrace their individuality, pursue their passions, and defy social expectations, leaving behind a lasting legacy of representation, empowerment, and positive portrayals of African-American black families. Yo, thank you so much for coming out for another video. This one was really like, it felt so good. I really, really enjoyed making this painting and I really enjoyed going in so loose. I kind of picked that up from the last Black History Month painting that I did, just kind of staying loose with it and staying loose the whole time, really painterly and just having fun with the painting, not spending too much time on any detail or anything like that. It was really good. And I think I'm gonna incorporate that style of painting into more painting. It was fun to do some like new stuff too with using the heat press and the vinyl and whatnot. I think that's something that's really cool that we can keep on doing as well. Yo, Steve Urkel, Black History Month, another video done. Oh, so good, so good. Yo, and the merch store is open. We got stuff. Yeah, go get you some Chuck Lee gear, chuckleemedia.com. Go check that out. And surprise, surprise, I said that after every video, I'm gonna put something new in the, in the store and whatnot. So yeah, go on over to the store and get you a Steve Urkel shirt, Steve Urkel hoodie, or Steve Urkel print, or a Steve Urkel sticker. Yes, we've got new stuff in the store, so go check that out. Yo, peace, love, and thank you so much for coming out for another video, and I will catch y'all in the next time for some more sweet shit. Peace, love.